So we have been trying to get to OP level 3 with the Digistruct Peak Challenge. Haven't made it yet. So we're still trying. We'll check what these shops have first. The lad off sniper there. What we might do, let's just check our equipment here. We've got this Framington's Edge, it's level 80. We've got a Hornet, OP2. As far as our main weapons go, our Harold's OP2. We've got the Sandhawk, which is fine when used with the with the B shield. We've got a level 80 loader. Level 75 Amigo Sincero, but we can't really upgrade that one because it's a mission item. Level 80 Pimpernel. So we might go and uh, upgrade our Lyuda. We can do that. And let's have a look at our other stuff here. We've got a OP1 Adaptive Shield. That's not too bad. B Shield's level 80, so we could upgrade that as well. And what else do we have? Let's sort by item here. We've got the relics, which are okay. And the class mod. Stormfront's level 80. We've got this longbow Tesla here, level OP2. Fireball, lightning bolt, and another longbow Tesla. So let's just compare these two, actually. I think they're both OP2, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, one's a green, so we can get rid of get rid of this green one, because we have a blue longbow Tesla. We have a blue OP1 turtle shield as well. All right, so let's sell those other things. Let me know. Catches your eye. Goodbye, friend. If you shop anywhere else, I'll have you killed. Now, let's start off with getting a new load. I think that would be a good idea. And then we can think about getting a new a B shield as well. Let's start off with the with the load. Might as well check these shops while we are here. Welcome to Dr. Z's Shock Nova Clinic. Shield. Legendary sure Singularity. I never, never noticed that before. That part just sitting there, that fuel tank. Let's just uh, check our skins here. I think we've got some new skins we haven't looked at yet. Oxidized. That's a bit boring. Char. Lysium green. What else do we have here? Honey hive. Stained glass. That's a pretty good one. I like that one. Iridium metal. That's a pretty good one too. Pandora sun. Looks like we're using that one. Spilled paint. That's a nifty one. I like that. Fire melon red. No. Caustic racer. That's not bad either. Evil candy cane. I like this one actually, that's, that's a good one. Wasp. Actually quite a few decent ones here. That one's a good one too, brown zebra. Infect... 
nickel. Hats off. There are quite a few good ones there. I think I'm going to go for evil candy cane there. Maybe I'll switch up this one too. Hats off. That's a pretty good one too. Nice bright color. Let's go for hats off. where we want to go to the friendship gulag oh, I think we went past it here around for some enemies but it doesn't look like there are any enemies this way I'll check these shops while we're here Welcome to my humble shop. knobbed slag transfusion with a bad fuse well, time we'll get some ammo while we're here There we go. <laughs> now let's just take a look at our loadout. We've got the B shield on, corrosive bone of the ancients. We can probably swap this out. Let's try the shock bone of the ancients. And let's see, sort by type. Let's go ahead and put, we've got the Amigo. Let's try the shock sniper here. Yes. Shock loader, Hornet, we probably don't need that. We'll put the Harold on. We have the magic missile, we'll leave that on for now. And the B, we'll try with the B on. See whether we can manage. Huh? <clears throat> I think our ammo is full anyway, so that's. I don't really need to check for more ammo. Don't like this skin. Let's try another one. This one. Infect Nicole. It's a nice bright color. Huh. We don't have any enemy cars attacking us this time. Your eyes Usually get harassed around here. Not this time. Sluggish turtle shield. These are only green though. I can sell them anyway. Get these guys to fight each other. Where are they? I'll just go for whichever one. What happened to you? So strong, imposing, fearsome. Oh yeah, I killed you. Oh, 
There we go. See what we have. Contemptible Survivor Class mod here. That, oh, here it is. Lead off assault rifle. Oops, I didn't want to come this far down. This shock loader is working out fine to farm these guys. Oh, hello. Four iridium. And a skin, we already have that one. Good to get out. I think that'll make a make a pretty substantial difference upgrading a Lyuda from level 80 up to OP 2. I like this bright green colour for the car. We've had a lot of nice colours for the car recently. Most of the time, I've had enemy cars harassing me when I tr get out of the car there, but not the last two runs. Got pistols here. Nothing interesting. Data class mod. That might be it. And they didn't seem to drop much that time. Maliwan Green Shock SMG in the dumpster there. Don't think green is going to cut it. So far, shock loader is working out fine for these guys. They're both shielded. But they seem quite happy to stand back and take cover and just sit there. Which is nice. Makes sniping them a little bit easier. Let's try this car. I'm going to see what it looks like. That's a nice one too. I like the bright, brighter coloured ones. Now we finally have a car that's harassing us. Oh, they almost killed us too. I was not paying attention to our health there. Got more pistols. It's just all green ones. He is not slagged. There he is. Now he's coming. 
Let's try the Herald. Almost dead. Sounds like he's almost dead too. Got a corrosive load, OP1. That's something. I still want OP2 though. We can drop some junk though. I did pick up some junk in the beginning that we can drop. Green shield. A couple of green shields and a skin we already have. And a white shield. Get rid of that. I don't think a uh, green Hyperion is going to be that useful though. Lobbed Singularity. Okay, we've got one loader there. Only OP1. Once we'll get some extra ammo here. I'm not sure if both of them have that uh, lunging, that big jump like Gettle did there. If the other guy doesn't, it might be worth taking uh, Gettle out first. If I want to snipe him from a distance. trick there is to jump earlier. I was jumping too late and getting snagged on the on the ridge there. A bit easier to jump earlier. Lots of pistols coming through here. Nothing good though. I'll wait till they get close together so I can uh, slag them both with the one grenade. So Gettle seems to be the one with that lunging rocket pack attack. Don't know whether Mobley can do that. That doesn't look like it. Oh. I was not paying attention to my health. This might be it here. So it looks like one will will use the rocket. The one with the rocket pack will um, jump towards you. I'm not, I don't think the other one will though. But the other one I think has that uh, charge attack, which is pretty devastating. So neither of, the, of them are all that all that easy from that point of view. Keep getting their names confused though. I was able to get up here this time without getting my health depleted. So we should still have the other guy roaming around here somewhere. There, is he behind me? Oh, he came out again. Green lobbed transfusion. Throwing electric move. Bad fuse time. So there's both bodies there. So it doesn't look like anything 
Good drop that time anyway. So one of them has the jetpack and the other one has what seems to be some sort of a shock charged attack which is uh, pretty powerful. Keep forgetting their names, which goes to which, Gettle or Mobley. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing them properly. So you're driving on the left hand side of the car, but you just get out on the right hand side, which is a little bit confusing. And I disappear, a ghost amidst the combat, preparing to strike. Some car, some car's shooting. Oh no, it's not a car. I think it's that buzzard that was shooting at me that time. We've got something different than pistols now. We've got a Torg launcher. Just a green one. Nothing interesting there. I thought Mobley was aggroed on me for a second. So Gettle's the one with a jet jetpack. Careful of this guy's attack. I think it's a might be a grenade. Whatever that large shock attack is. It's a double tap. Dial double tap there. Jacob's long rider. I guess I do have that uh, OP-1 corrosive sniper. I could be using that. But these guys are shielded, so the shock sniper would probably be better still. Might just check how much damage the corrosive sniper does compared to the this particular one. Sort by type. Seven thirty six thousand compared to eight thirty two. So I'm probably still better off. Better off with the shock, I think. Considering I'm sh going to be shooting through shields here. How much junk do I have to sell? Thirty seven of thirty nine. Maybe I'll just make a quick stop into these shops here. Just sell off my junk. I guess that's one pretty that's one pretty neat thing about this little farm is that you can whatever junk you pick up while farming it's you have close access to a shop to sell it so some of this stuff I'll never use like this a torg launcher I don't need that green I like the Hyperion shotguns but I don't think this is going to cut it a green I need something better than green same with this it's only green that's our new Lyuda. Might as well hold on to that for now. This is probably our best corrosive sniper, so this is doing 832,000. 30% corrode chance. Yeah, so even though this is kind of nifty with this uh, huge zoom, 11, 11x zoom, now that I have this corrosive Lyuda, I can retire this guy. We have a couple Hyperion Slag Snipers here. I thought it might be a good idea to keep at least one Slag Sniper. I thought it might be useful against the Surveyors to slag up the Surveyors. So I might just keep the best out of this too. So one of these Hyperions has a much better zoom on it. 
7.5. The damage I don't really care that much about. What's more important is the slag chance. So it looks like this this night the the, uh, the sniper I already had, the older one, has a better slag chance. So I think I'll keep that one. That's probably the better idea. The one with the better slag chance. So we'll sell off the other one. Do we have any? Oh, we've got more junk to sell here. We have a couple of class mods, green class mods. There we go. We'll sell all that junk off. It's a fine day, full of opportunity. Our money's only down to 49 million. So we do need to build it back up again. Build it back up to the, the max level of a hundred million or close enough. So about half of the maximum money we can have. I'd like to be a little bit better than 49 million, so I'm going to start picking up the junk just to sell it off. Because I do want to build my money back up again. If I'm going to be doing these OP runs, I'm probably going to be needing to replenish my ammo quite often, so I want that extra money. Shot out by something. Could be a buzzard or the car. Probably the car. I think the car was closer. Got some green weapons here. Another slag sniper. Slag chance is worse than our current slag sniper, Hyperion. We've been getting a lot of sl Hyperion slag snipers here. That's the third one we've come across. Not a huge fan of the Hyperion Snipers, they've got too much sway to them. Goodbye. Well, that was good. They went down quickly. I think definitely taking out the, sh the jet jetpack guy first is the, is the move if you're sniping. Take out the jetpack guy first because he will just jump straight towards you and cover that distance very quickly. I'm quite happy to get rid of the jetpack guy first. And the other guy has a um, a powerful grenade, I think. Powerful shock grenade, so you just have to keep an eye out for that. We're making some progress though. We've got, uh, we've got an OP1 loader. We'll keep trying for an OP2. Corrosive or shock would be best. If we can get one of those. Maybe the uh, hats off car will be more lucky. Maybe this yellow color will be more lucky for us. Let's try it out. Goodbye. I pressed the wrong button there. But luckily we didn't get too smashed by that car. Just lost a tiny bit of health. Bandit Shotgun, Tedior, White SMG. Oh, well, Mobley might be angry on me, is he? He's kind of just standing there. I guess not. Pistol. 
The Dial Booster Shield. Hyperion non elemental SMG. Only green. Pretty rubbish, the non elemental SMGs. I don't know why you'd bother. Of course, you got the legendaries, but as far as the non legendary SMGs go, the non elemental ones seem to be all rubbish. Kind of a bit disappointed in most of the SMGs, unless you're getting something, some specific legendary, they're generally kind of rubbish. So the yellow car wasn't any luckier for us. Let's go back to the green one. it up here as well. This is true, but when the game was first coming out, people didn't know where the good guns are. Yeah, only non-legendary SMG worth anything is the Sandhawk. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Green Adaptive Shield. Inferior. And the Sandhog only does damage because of the B. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only thing that makes it good. Is that combination. So, this one has... Better Capacity. I might just have a closer look at this adaptive shield. I forgot to sell off my junk. Yeah, some some weapons really come alive once you got the B shield with them. Once you got that uh, bonus amp damage happening. Let me check this shield for a second. So we, oh, we have a purple adaptive shield, so that's probably going to be better, OP1. Have you played around with the Sandhawk at all? I have been using the Sandhawk. I'm doing the Digistruct Pick Challenge, and I've been using the Sandhawk and the B for uh, some of the enemies there. But eventually it gets um gets a bit too dangerous to use the B, so but I have been using some of the some of the um the melee based enemies on the Digistruct Peak challenge are, are pretty tanky, so I have been using the Sandhawk and the B for those. No, this green is way worse than mine. Yeah, so you understand, you can use any level sand torque. It's just the amount of bullets plus the amp on each bullet. Yeah, yep. Like my my current sand hook is pretty low. Yes, my current sand hook is level 72, a flame one. And I've been using that one with the... Uh, Level 80B here. Perfect. 
of Gettle here with the jetpack on. Got an OP2 slag loader there. And for, forgot to sell this junk again. Sort by value, drop some more junk. So we've got another loader, OP2. Let's have a look at how much damage it's doing. Okay, so the slag load is doing about the same damage as the corrosive. Got a better zoom. Fire rate's a bit better. But um, yeah, not really all that useful. I guess I keep it, I'll keep that one as my main slagging sniper if I want to use a, a slag sniper for the, for the surveyors. But this OP1 seems to be doing, the OP1 corrosive sniper seems to be doing Similar base damage, and then you've got the corrosive damage on top. But I'll certainly keep that as a, a slagging sniper, and I can get rid of these other ones. I should try the Sandhawk against these guys. See if the Sandhawk actually does a better job. It might do. Something weird in Borderlands 2 coding happens with corrosive guns. They work better than intended on non-armored targets. Okay, so they are, they do better than better than intended for non-armored targets. No, I didn't realise that. I've mainly just been using the, the corrosive weapons for the uh, the armoured targets, the loaders and stuff. Didn't realise they were better than they appear for other enemies. So that corrosive loader we picked up, I think it was an OP-1. Yeah, OP-1. So that might be worth using. Oh. I was going to sell off my junk, but I'm not going back for it now. I'll sell it off next time. Let's try out the Sandhawk here, see how it goes. Let's get rid of this Herald for a second. Let's put the sand, Sandhawk on. We'll put on a Flame, Bone of the Ancients. We've got the Bee Shield on. See how that goes. See if it's better than the, the Shock Loader here. Unstoppable Point Man Class Mod. Nothing good. I think our rogue class mods are better. Yeah, 
not going to be quite so easy to hit when he's behind the cover here with the sand hole. Mobbed corrosive singularity. Where's the body? I guess he went down here. Can't see the body though. A lumpy injector tool pistol. Oh, hello. Got a shock blood off there. OP2. I'll pick that one up. I don't think it's going to be better than a Lyuda. Curious to see what it, what it is though. So that's doing 562,000 damage. Lyuda's doing more. So it doesn't, those other Vladov snipers just don't compare. Sandhog worked out fine as well. Now I'm gonna remember to sell off my junk before we continue. Lad off pistol, bandit. Green shotgun, Hyperion Green SMG, class mod we can't use. A leather cannon. We got an OP1 blue cannon. That's probably going to be better anyway. Check these shops while I'm here. Rubberized Corrosive Cloud. Cut Rate Shield. So maybe a corrosive weapons are not too bad as like a general purpose. General purpose weapons if they work better than expected for non-armored targets. I haven't thought about corrosive elemental type as like a, a general purpose type. But if it does better than expected, then maybe maybe that is thinking good to think about corrosive weapons as more of a general purpose elemental type. Stealth. Oh, I did a bad parking job here. Sounds like there's a buzzard around and a car. TDR, Torg launcher. TDR exhaust. Let's try the sand hawk again. Likes to take cover, this guy. Lobbed Merv, bad fuse time. I'll pick it up, I can sell it at least. Another grenade. My 
Hyperion slag shotgun. It looks like a skin we haven't got yet. Let's have a look at that skin. Bloody Eye, Bandit Technical Skin. Our inventory is not full, so I won't bother selling our junk just yet. Let's have a look at this bloody eye skin. There it is. That's pretty boring actually. Not that interesting. I'll keep what I have. a car right behind me there. Didn't get any shots off on me. This chest loves to loves to give pistols. I'll pick them up to sell. I think probably the sniper is a little bit easier than the sandhawk in this instance. If you can get those headshots. Sticky longbow transfusion. Sniper ammo is getting down. I forgot to uh, loot these ammo chests here before we left. I was looking at the car skin. I was too occupied with the car skin. Didn't think about uh, getting some more ammo. to get me more pistols this loot chest just loves to give pistols I'm gonna try the sandhawk why not just for something different This guy's going to take cover. I decided not to take cover in the end. But he will now. Got some iridium. Always nice to see some iridium around. Now we're full. I don't think the other guy dropped anything interesting. Just a dial pistol.
Jacob Snyder, just a green one. Now our in inventory is full, so I'll go ahead and sell our stuff. We can check these shops while we're here. A fantastic day for capital. Rubberized bouncing Betty. Tell your friend. We've got a bunch of pistols that time. Lobbed move, another pistol, Jacobs. I like the Hyperion shotguns, but green's probably not going to cut it here. Let off pistol. Torg launcher. Marcus munitions. Alkaline turtle shield. Might be good to use the Sandhawk as well, so I can even out my ammo usage. I think I still have the uh, the Flame Bone of the Ancients on. I probably should swap that back if I'm going to be using the Sniper. Sniper, corrosive bandit shotgun. So we are using the flame bone of the ancients here. I does like to take cover. Bandit pistol. Rubberized bouncing bitty. Nothing over here. Is there anything in this? We can't interact with it. That's just for the mission. Some more iridium. So we're up to 86. We probably have to get up to 150 before we can buy any more upgrades with our iridium. So uh, that's something else that's worth considering as well as just farming for some iridium. Try to finish off the uh, ammo capacity upgrades. seems a little easier to use than the Sandhawk. 
Particularly since one of these guys does like to take cover. Not sure how important it is to use the B shield. Might not be that important. Got some relics here, just a bunch of white ones. I'll try the fault the uh, sandhawk again. Sniper might be better once the shields are depleted. No, the shock later still performs well even if the shields are depleted, so should probably just switch to that if the shields go if the shields on the B shield go down. Inventory is full again. We can cash out that. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go. Rubberized transfusion. Don't need that flame sniper. All that green SMG. Bunch of white relics. And a Jacob's green pistol. So none of this green stuff's going to be very useful. Sniper ammo is back to 91. I'll keep using the Sandhawk just for fun. Before the next run, I might take a quick break and I'll be right back.
back to Borderlands 2. Don't hear any buzzards at this time. There's one way off there in the distance. But none that are shooting at me. Class mods. I think the jetpack guy is probably tankier than the other one. Seems to be. Or maybe I just got some lucky critical hits there, but... The non-jetpack -jet guy went down faster. Quite a bit faster. Right, so it's the jetpack guy that drops a Lyuda. shooting at me. Someone's shooting through the ground there. Probably one of the cars shooting through the ground. A couple white guns there. So Gettle's the one. The jetpack. Your flame pistol. There we go. Blood off. Level 80. Lyuda. It's only a level 81. Hey Munch, how are you going? We're farming for a, a new Lyuda at the moment. Trying to get an OP2. OP2 Lyuda if we can. We just picked up a level 80 here. We don't need that one. Huh. 
So we did get an OP-1. That's the best we got so far, is an OP-1 corrosive loader. We'll see if we can get an OP-2. Thank you much. I'm currently trying to do, trying to get up to OP3. But I thought I'd upgrade my gear. See if I can upgrade my gear to OP2. aggroed on me now. Oh no, they're still fighting. Jacobs, assault rifle, Dahl's minigun. I think the sniper is probably a little bit faster. I think I might switch out this Bone of the Ancients for the shock one. Just use the uh, the shock sniper for now. We have a full bag, so we can sell off some stuff here. Last mod we can't use. Bunch of white junk at the bottom here, and green, white and green junk. Who needs a medical license when you Another class mod we can't use in the shop there, and a rubberized corrosive cloud. Who knows, maybe this sniper will be more lucky. try out the corrosive sniper too. This shock load is level 80 and we've got a corrosive sniper OP1. So we could try that out too, see how that goes. I wonder if this is a good idea to go up here. I 
something there. Up to 90 now. Still quite a ways before we get to 150. Which is, I think, what we need for our next upgrade at the Iridium shop. Just out of interest, I'm going to try out this uh, corrosive OP1 Lyuda. See how that goes. I think both of the guys are armoured. So the corrosive might not be too bad an option. jump a little bit earlier there otherwise you get stuck same here I'm getting slammed by something probably that buzzard corrosive launcher seem to be quite as effective as this shop one. You're doing a Krieg playthrough right now. Haven't tried, haven't tried that character Krieg before. So what level are you up to with the Krieg character? The only two characters I've really tried are Axed and, and Zero. Haven't really played much with uh, any of the other ones. Doing a melee Krieg, level 41 right now. Running through Dragon's Keep DLC. Strip the flesh, salt the wounds. We tried going back to Writhing Deep to try for an OP2 top near. No, I haven't actually. That's something else I can do as well. Because my top near is level 80. So that's probably something I can do as well, try to get a OP2 top near. So that's definitely I'll definitely do that as well, get a get a OP2 launcher. Getting my big boy grog nozzle right now. Need my boy to start healing. Yeah, it's very, very helpful to get that grog nozzle. It's also nice how it uh, levels up with you as well. Huh? Certainly huh? makes a big difference once you get it.
I'll try this Corrosive Sniper again, but it didn't seem quite as effective. Let me just check I'm using the right Bone of the Ancients there. I think the Shock one was probably doing better for me. Here. I've got a flame OP one, Myuda. About to enter the mines of Avarice. Oh, that's, yeah, that's where all the, well, I can't remember what they're called. Are they ogres and dwarves down there? I think when I, when I went down there, I had a nice uh, flame butcher, which, is, which was very nice for all of those flesh-based enemies with no shields. Yeah. Yeah, I had, a, I had a nice flame butcher when I went down there, so... I was using that most of the time with those enemies because they, they're all flesh-based without the shield. I'm just going to punch the initiative. Punch the initiative. What do you mean by that? So I've got this, I think I'm going to get rid of this corrosive for now, take it off. Oh, that's right, I could drop something. Oh, I see, when brick rolls a 20, right, yep. I do 1800 melee per swing with my buzzsaw right now. Oh, so you really built, really geared your character up there for melee. I haven't tried doing a melee character. Haven't with well, a proper spec'd out one. I did, I did, uh, I did start one, but I didn't get one that was, that was uh, had all the um, all the melee gear. So I haven't really tried it out. Melee characters are a pain. I have a relic with 49% melee bonus. Oh, that sounds like one to hold on to. Not a pain, just pain. Oh, my, my melee characters are pain, right. So they deal, deal a lot of damage. And a roid shield. Yeah, I think that's the mistake my, I made. I tried to do a, like a melee build with this zero, but I didn't have. I didn't go all all in with all of the melee stuff. I meant a pain in the ass to play. Uh, more, okay, pain in the ass to play. Yeah. So more tedious to do all the melee attacks, and maneuvering around, I suppose, as well. So we've got a flame OP1 loader there. A dull shock assault rifle. It depends. Kree rewards you for taking damage though, which makes him a fun character. Yeah, I guess Krieg, Krieg rewards you for being very aggressive very aggressive play style. So I guess that would help for, for melee characters. 
I've been playing this Krieg for four days now and I'm already in true Vault Hunter mode. Yeah, he seems like a really powerful, aggressive character that you can just steamroll through with. But yeah, if I was going to play a melee character, that might be a character that I might might try playing with like a um, a game controller with. That might make the I'm using a melee character a little bit a uh, little bit less of a pain in the ass to use a, a game controller. His bloodlust wills what makes him powerful. Oh, his bloodlust ability. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. Yeah, it seems like a if you want to play like an ag aggressive play style, it seems like it'd be certainly would be a fun character to to do it with. Get rid of some of this junk here. Got a few pistols to sell off. So we got an OP1. Loader here. So, so far we've got an OP2 slag. Loader. Then an OP1 flame. And OP1 corrosive too. that I'm using. I think I'm going to put the shock one back on. That seemed to be more effective. Who needs a medical license when you got... Yeah, I was thinking just maybe uh, using a game controller would might make doing the melee attacks and manoeuvring a little bit less of a pain in the ass than trying to do it with the keyboard and a mouse. So I might do that if I do if I try to do a, a melee character. Try doing it with a game controller. Shotgun, another bandit, green SMG. They're going to spawn. I'm going to have to get a little bit closer before they spawn. There we go. White Relic, TD or Shock Pistol.
So this uh, shock loader just seemed a little bit more powerful, at least with those guys, than the, the corrosive one. Could just be how lucky you are getting the, the critical headshots too. Maybe I just got luckier with the the shock loader. How hilarious. You just Can I get through here? Trap card. Just to get through. Oh, I got my shield down to half, but didn't disturb my health, so that's fine. Some blue class mods here. Not going to be as good as my rogue class mod, so I can leave that. Oh, I forgot to spawn the enemies first. Maybe the uh, corrosive is just as good because I took quite a few shots that time. A skin here, new one. Wasp runner skin. Dal pistol. And some more iridium. Just might buy some more sniper ammo here. Might as well sell off my junk while I'm here too. Some class mods. I've got a new skin here. You can use that. Bunch of junk down the bottom here. If you got the money, I'll save your gold Bloody mind. ninja class mod. Catch you later. Lobbed shock die. belting I Betty. Oh, I forgot to get the ammo. That's all right. We should have enough sniper ammo for one run. We can always use a sand hawk if we need to. No, Zero didn't say anything that time. He usually says something when he... It's a deception. It's a bunch of junk pistols there. Just happily standing around, waiting for each other. I'm stuck. 
There we go. Yeah, Dragon's Keep is tricky, particularly those uh, skeletal wizards. They are very tough, those skeleton wizards. Always had trouble with those guys. And the archers too. The skeletal archers are also very tough on that Dragon's Keep DLC. They have like perfect accuracy. Perfect accuracy with their arrows. And the other archers as well, because you've got the human ones as well. All the archers on that DLC are, are pretty troublesome. But you can get some good stuff out of it. Like I like the uh, magical grenades that you can get out of that DLC. The magic missile and the, the fireball and lightning bolt and the, the legendary versions. Fighting the dukes. Oh, so you'd be facing a lot of the human the human archers. Is that the part uh, with the castle? When you go up the castle? Is that when you fight the dukes when you go up the castle there? Shot by the saw blades. That car had a saw blade weapon on it. I could see the saw blades whizzing past. It hit me a couple of times. This is a bad spot to sit, he just gets stuck. towards the jetpack guy. Hyperion Pistol. Oh, here we go. OP2 non-elemental loader. I'll take it. That's what we want to see. We want to see OP2 versions. We can drop some of these pistols. So that's a non-elemental version. So what's the damage like on this non-elemental version? So 101 compared to 846,000 for the slag. 832 for the corrosive, 784. So the magazine size seems to be 22 for most of them. That's probably the standard. It's got a bigger, bigger zoom on a seven. So that's doing 101 compared to 832. 
So maybe we'll leave it there for now. That might be good enough. I'm not sure if I really need a elemental one. That one might be good enough. Now, how does that compare to the level 80 we have been using? So that's only got 736,000 compared to 101. So we'll give that a shot. I guess we can pick up some of this stuff to sell off. So our B shield is 80, so maybe it might be worth the... F so it probably would be worth getting another B shield, another top near, because both of those are level 80. So get another B shield, another top near. I don't know if we really need to farm for anything else right now. Definitely a B, yeah, that probably would be a good idea. B is most important thing every OP level, right. Yes, yeah, so I've I've been using a level 80 B, so so it probably would make a big big difference to get a get an OP2 B. So maybe that's the next thing we should go for is get get an OP2 B. So let's do that. So we have to get to a fast travel station. Which is going to be back over here. Yeah, back over there. So this should make things a little bit easier. If I can get an OP... 2B and we got that OP2 Lyuda now and we got the uh, those other OP1 Lyuda so I'll hold on to those as well we have a corrosive OP1 Lyuda and we have a flame as well and an OP2 um, slag so I might be, might be get some use out of those too. Might as well check the shops while I'm here. Fire spike shield. Lobbed Tesla. B is the most important thing, yeah. So we don't want headhunters. Dragon keep forest. So let's see what we have. Maybe the Sandhawk might be a good option here. Try that out.
Don't really need to even slag the stumpies. Our inventory's full. We'll seal off our junk next time. These things worth killing. I guess they do. They do drop some loot, don't they? <laughs> Malio and flame pistol. And just a relic there. these things here. Can you shoot these? No. Boy. I have to remember that these guys do Shoot those electrical orbs. There's nothing to shoot here. Gotta remember those guys do shoot those orbs. While we're at the shops here, we can sell off our junk. I think we've got a full bag here. Bunch of junk white pistols here. Welcome to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. Cleric Zed. some wizards for me. My bullets aren't magic, but they are cheap. I shall see you soon. I haven't noticed that uh, that shop recording, Cleric said. That's funny. Maybe I should put on something that can protect me from those uh, orbs. This longbow Tesla is probably a good idea. I'll pick that up to sell. So this will all be cleared out now. Just want to see what those trees dropped. Didn't get a good look when I was fighting for my life there, so... Who knows, there might be something good. No, it doesn't look like it. What's over here? We've still got one more tree by the sound of it. Just little guys. Just stumpies here.
Shield Blue Nova Shield. Weapon again. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. Lobbed transfusion. Used a slagging with the grog nozzle. I've been using the magic missile most of the time for slagging, so I have to get used to slagging with it again with the grog nozzle. Get rid of this junk here. Nova Shield, don't need that either. I have some junk here, probably never going to use. Two bursts from the sand talk is enough for the stumpies, even if they're not, uh, if they're, even if they're not slagged. Almost got killed by that pixie there. Forgot about those orbs again. Forgot about those shock orbs. And again. Got to remember that those orbs are coming once I kill the tree ants.
Might as well check this chest while I'm here. Shock SMG, resistance relic, incendiary resistance. So I guess we're full, yep. We are full up. Well, check how much money I have now. I'll probably have some more stuff that I can just get rid of that I'm never gonna use. Let's have a closer look at this stuff here. Like this. Don't think I'm going to use that. Just punch the initiative. I rolls a 20. Yeah, yeah. I remember, th I remember that bit. So that's when they keep rolling 20s. I'll keep the leather cannon for now. That TD or shotgun I'm not going to use, and this one I'm not going to use that either. This FaceTime I'm not going to use that either. I'll keep this torque shotgun. And as for these, it's a level, it's OP2, it's OP2, OP1. Got a shock load. It might be worth keeping that just in case. The Amigo and the Pimpernel. I'll keep those for now until I can figure out what I want to do with them. Looking for a healer? place yeah I have to remember that those tree ants drop those or shoot those orbs when they die oh, no, it's too slow probably should throw the shield before I kill them rather than after Can't see anything to shoot here. I don't think that's what they normally call Wicked Stumpy, so that just must be the, the name for the high level ones. Tall assault rifle. Got the grog, and we are 
on our way to Ultimate Vault Hunter now. Yes, now you got the grog. That's very useful once you've got the grog. Oh, thank you very much for the raid, Speaking Lion. And thank you for the follow as well. And thank you for the follow, Jinton. Yeah, peak's going well. I'm trying to do OP level 3 at the moment. So I'm just upgrading my stuff up to OP2. So my B-Shield at the moment is level 80, so we're currently farming for an OP2 B-Shield. And after that, we'll probably get a, probably farm for a, a new launcher as well, because our launcher is level 80, so we'll get an OP2 launcher as well after, after we get a new B-Shield. So I thought it was time to get some new stuff. You feel that in your soul. Yeah, we're starting to struggle. We're starting to struggle with the OP, the OP3 uh, Digistruct Peak. So I thought it might be a good idea to go and uh, upgrade some of my stuff. So you're stuck on OP4 on Maya. Can't clear OP5 to save my life. Yeah, I've been, I had to, I've been trying, trying to get through OP3 for a while now and been struggling to get through. So I know what it's like to get stuck on the Digistruct Peak. Pixie go. Might just have time to pick that up. INTJ, I'm an ENFP. Love to see it. Okay, ENFP. Now, oh, that's where the pixie went. Relic, Max Health, Rubberized Tesla. Don't need those. Okay, so you're on PS5. Do you have to use some sort of a capture card or something on your PC if you're streaming from a console or is there some way to do it without having to use a, a separate capture card? Oh, 
Oh, we've got an actual chest this time and not, not one of the mimics. Electric grenade. Lobbed corrosive transfusion. Yeah, capture card. There's a native way to do it on PS5, but you can't use OBS or slobs or your own webcam. It's a mess, right. Also, on a Mac, you've got to use specific ones. Yeah, I guess on a Mac, your, your hardware options probably be more limited on which capture cards you can use. So I guess every... I guess for Windows, everything gets, gets all the hardware gets supported on Windows, but maybe not for Mac. So I'm just using the I'm just using the one PC to do the streaming and playing the game. Now some people use a separate PC for streaming, and I guess you need to use a capture card there as well. I just use, I just use the one PC for everything. Let me go ahead and sell some of this stuff here. I got way too many snipers. I've got to organise that. But for now, let's get rid of this rocket torpedo. That torg launch. I don't need that. Get rid of that banded slag. SMG. And that booster shield. And that class mod, we can't use that one. A couple of grenades with a bad fuse time, get rid of those. And a homing corrosive cloud. Yeah, I want to build a dual PC set up eventually. My PC right now can barely handle games. Definitely couldn't handle both games and a stream. Yeah. Yep. One good thing though with the graphics cards of these days is they can do, they can handle a lot of the, the video encoding on their own. So if you have a decent graphics card, then you can at least use the graphics card to do the video encoding as well. Which can be useful if the if your PC if your CPU is not up to the task of doing the encoding. Okay, I sold all of that stuff. I didn't throw any orbs at me. So I'm gonna get past these guys or do I just have to wait? I think I just have to wait for them to explode. I don't think you can shoot them. Oh, maybe. I think you just have to wait for them to explode on their own. Even budget level NVIDIA cards might be the same with the AMD as well, but at least with A uh, NVIDIA, even the budget level ones can do uh, can do a hardware accelerated encoding. So that's that's useful even if you have even if you have a pretty modest setup, you can probably still get away with using the graphics card to to do the video encoding. Let me get rid of these stumpies first. Got a grenade there, homing singularity. 
a class mod. I usually use the uh, magic missile for slagging, so I have to relearn, relearn the muscle memory for slagging with the grog nozzle. here with a grog nozzle. Very, very satisfying to hear that boar noise. Always satisfying to hear that boar noise go off. Jacob's shotgun. Contemptible killer class mod. Blue class mo mod that we can't use. Hello, Squiggy. We're farming for a, a OP2B shield at the moment. See if we can make our Digistruct peak runs a little bit easier. And get rid of these stumpy spirits. Usually two bursts with the sand hawk and the bee shield is enough to take the stumpies down. There we go. Maliwan shock sniper. Just got my grog, and let me just say, grog with a melee krieg. The only way I die is from killing myself by the salt in the wound skill. I'm not familiar with the salt in the wound skill. What does that do? Chest commonly is a mimic. We'll see if, see what happens here. Torg spitter, OP two. That's actually pretty good. I like the torg spitters. Might be able to get some use out of that. Maybe. Not sure for Digistruct Peak whether whether it's powerful enough, but. Normally, I do like the Torque Spitters, so we've been using them a lot at the lower levels. So let's have a look at that. Soul of the Wound gives you extra shotgun and melee damage when I take damage, but I have a chance of hitting myself for an identified amount of damage for extra melee but it can happen multiple times in a row. Oh, I see, so if you're unlucky, you're getting hit multiple times in a row. So yeah, I guess with the, uh, with the grog nozzle, we, when you're holding the grog nozzle, you'll be healing when you're hitting those melee attacks. No B shield yet. Yeah, I wasn't familiar with the grog nozzle 
when I tried out a melee character. Welcome to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. So that probably would have made it easier if I had something like the Grog Nozzle. Let's sell some stuff here. Get rid of that SMG and the class mod. None of these are as good as my rogue class mod. Jacob's quad. Might try that out. Don't really try out the Jacob's shotguns very much, but uh, maybe the quad's okay. Gentleman Snyder. Got a ton of snipers now, don't need any more. Got the spitter here. Might hold on to the spitter, try it out. Looking for a healer? <laughs> You're in the right place. My so the ammo shop had a mob Tesla. But they are cheap. It's good for melee, but it goes both ways. Oh yes, yeah, so that's a risky, a risky one to choose. That tree ant was close. Zombie creatures, those uh, stumpies. Just lumbering slowly towards you. Catch me if you can. shield there. out for those things and just sprout up silently right not right next to you I've been so worried about these uh, electric orbs that I wasn't paying attention to those other things that grow up right next to you Assault rifle, leather wheel gun, sounds like we've got just a bunch of stumpies by the look of it. Stumpies make a menacing noise for something 
from something that looks so cute and small. Not sure if you can even slag them. I don't know if you can. The pixie didn't change color or anything, so maybe you can't even slag them. I might be wasting my time trying to slag them. Jacob's Gatling gun. Don't use those. No B shield that time. Huh. I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back.
to Borderlands 2. I play on PC with keyboard and mouse but I have been thinking about trying trying to play Borderlands 2 with a controller. I think I was going to if I was going to do like a melee build I'd do it with a controller. I think they're just the uh, maneuvering around and doing the melee attacks with a controller just might be a little bit more comfortable than doing it with a keyboard and mouse. But I can't say I've had a lot of a lot of experience with the using a key, uh, game controller for first-person shooters lately. I've been using keyboard and mouse for for quite a while. Control the aim assist in this game is crazy good. Yeah, pretty much pretty much need it for, for first person shooters, the, the aim assist. But even tweaking the aim assist skills is a is a, is a um, skill in itself. Because sometimes you get aim assist settings that uh, completely change the, the the feel of how aim assist works. But that's good to know that there's uh, the aim assist is good because I don't have a ton of experience aiming in first person shooters with a controller, so that's definitely something that I'd appreciate. been quite a while since I've had a console but I did buy a, a Xbox controller to play GTA 5 on the PC so I do have a, a decent uh, game controller for the PC I just don't really use it that much Keep forgetting about these little these little mines that grow up. Especially with snipers. Yeah, that would be the most sensitive thing is trying to get the sniping down with a with a controller, so you'd really want to have the aim assist working well with the snipers. So when you're sniping with the aim assist, does it like lock on to the uh, the critical points, or is it just sort of lock on to the um, the main body? Green torg shotgun. Don't really need e either of those. Dial assault rifle. It's funny these cute little stumpies make such a low pitched growling noise, groaning noise. It snaps, right. 
Well, that's interesting. So it sort of snaps to the, the critical points. I don't think I've ever played a game like that where, it, where it's the aim assist snaps to the critical points like that. And I don't think you can slag the fixies here. Doesn't look like she dropped much. Maybe just this. Those two things. Generally those pixies drop a ton of stuff, but not that time. Cartel strike. Dial sniper. See what this has. Hopefully it's not a mimic. Oh. Most of the time it is a mimic, but not this time. Thick hand cannon. And a couple of, sni couple of snipers. Don't need either of those. So no B shield that time. I think that level three of the Digistruct peak is going to be substantially easier if I can get a on level B shield. I sell some stuff while I'm here. I don't need the lance and the spitter, so we can get rid of the lance. Get rid of this Vlad off assault rifle. I don't really use this Baruch either. Let's get rid of that. Couple of pistols we can get rid of. I'll keep this quad, this blue on level quad. Try it out, see if it's any good. We have a ton of snipers here that we need to prune down, but we'll leave that for now. Couple of grenades here we don't need. Stalker class mod. Rubberized fire burst and a spike shield. Get rid of those. Welcome to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. So we got rid of a couple of assault rifles that we're not using. Don't need to keep those. Cute little flowers. Everything else is quite dreary. Dreary and menacing. Then you got these colourful little flowers here. No, no. Oh, it looks like I hit the pixie there. Now, oh, two shots with the sandhog was enough for the pixie. That's good to know, they can just give a blast the pixie with a sandhawk there. Get the job done.
still one more behind here. Yeah, I forgot about those orbs again. Certainly a different play style if you're used to slagging with the with the um, magic missile to switch it off and start slagging with a weapon again, like a pistol. Where is that pixie? Disappeared. Oh, way over there. <laughs> Dial slag pistol. I'll put the Herald on for this. I'm not sure if you can uh, slag these mimics either. Pistol on the side here. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting and then no bee shield. I tried playing a modern warfare with a controller and I didn't wasn't very successful with it. I'm not sure if I want a single gun gunfight really. Maybe maybe only a few. Not many anyway. It certainly is a specific skill to get good at aiming with a controller. Even tweaking the aim assist settings in Modern Warfare is quite complicated as well, so... You really need to be skilled not only in aiming, but also just setting up the aim assist as a skill in itself. Those kunais actually land until she, until she aggroes. Once she aggroes and changes colour, maybe then the kunai can land, but I think I probably just wasted my kunai there shooting them off before she aggroed on me. Sticky lobbed corrosive transfusion. Sometimes you do get some decent stuff out of those pots. I've got some decent uh, I'm hearing shotguns out of those uh, breakable pots. Almost didn't see that stumpy there.
adaptive shield. Got some more iridium, which is good. 120. Getting up to 150. I think that's what we need for our next upgrade. 150. enough to kill the pixie there. Flat off flame sniper. Maliwan shock SMG. Oh, we haven't had a mimic for a while here. What do we have here? Hyperion face bilateral FaceTime. Green. I don't think green's gonna cut it. No luck with the B-Shield. How are we doing for ammo here? Not bad. Maybe I'll try the Herald. Maybe the Herald will be luckier than the Sandhawk. So we'll see how we go with the Herald. Jacob's wheel gun. I don't think there was anything else there. Something green here. Another Jacob's pistol. Just pick up a bit of ammo on the way here. What is this? Blue. Hyperion pistol. Keep forgetting, forgetting about those orbs that those tree ants drop.
Oh, shoot it, I guess. Corrosive nice. Bouncing Betty. Lead off Assault Rifle. Top near. I'll take that top near. First, we have to drop a couple of things here. This is nice. OP2 top now. Get some use out of that. Oh, hello. What have we got here? And we've got a B. Let's have a look. P2, very good. So the delay is not not so good. But this will do. This will do for now. We got our OP2 B. So that was pretty good. We got a top near and a B out of that single kill. It was a flame top now, which is probably the least desirable one, but I'll take it. What's the damage like compared to our current one? 3.7 million compared to 4.7. Magazine size is substantially more, but it's flame, so maybe not so useful. I'll keep it though. So that final run was actually quite a good one. We got an OP2 top near and we got an OP2B. We might as well check the chest here. Oh, we still have some more stumpies here. Longbow Singularity, got a purple, bandit, slag, jumper and biddy, and a slag transfusion. We've been doing okay for grenades though, that's good. Even though we're not using one of the magical grenades that regenerate, we're not running out of grenades. So we've got our B now. <sighs> Might as well swap in our new B here, OP2. So we still would be good to get a better top near than a flame one. So that's something we could go for. Try to upgrade our top near here. See what stuff we have to sell. A couple of white relics, class mod we can't use. Green sure shot class mod. Lobbed corrosive transfusion. And a lobbed transfusion. I'll just keep this B for the time being. Just in case the delay turns out to be too troublesome. That longer delay. Welcome to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. Survivor class mod. Go 
kill some wizards My for me. Then I shook as a rubber ice grenade. Cheap. Try not to catch a stray arrow. Zed's meds will keep you from being dead. <laughs> keep the bullets flying. So, let's have a look. I think we want to go to Fight for Sanctuary. And... Where do we have to go? Are these are the burrows. Have a look. Now, it just... Yeah, here we go. So we've got to go to Writhing Deep. So from the burrows, we go to Writhing Deep to farm for a new launcher, but I don't have the stuff with me. I have to get the uh, get the items to do it. So I'll just run to the bank here. Get the hygiene set items I need. Check the shop here. Jacob Sniper. Sticky longbow grenade. Check for a bit of iridium while I'm here. Usually these containers are good for at least one. Not this time. Mm. Toothpick, I need that. And the retainer, I'll need that. So I think that's. I think that's what I need, the toothpick and the retainer. That'll give me the speed boost and the jumping boost that I need to farm for a new launcher. I think I got turbo. turbo cancer. Doesn't Handsome Jack live in a turbo mansion? Now there's turbo cancer. Okay, so we need to change our shield over to the retainer. And we need to equip the toothpick. Now we can go back to where we were. Burrows. <clears throat> and we head up this way. Head north. I think there might be a loot chest up here. No, just to come up with a couple of ammo crates there. I thought there was a loot chest around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's further up here. So who knows, we might get lucky here. We got grenades, rubberized, nothing interesting there. <laughs> so now we're getting that speed boost, that jumping boost from having those items equipped. Which will enable us to climb up this cliff. And hopefully get ourselves a shiny new top near. Almost a bunker. So you're finished with the uh, with the DLC.
Huh. So you're done with the Dragon Keep DLC? I can get up this way. Yep, got the grog nozzle and went back to the main story for now. Yep. Yeah, that's probably the that's the most value th valuable thing from the Dragon Keep DLC is that grog nozzle. Impressive. So we've got a TDL launcher to begin with. Trying to finish True Vault Hunter mode before I really put any time into DLCs. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to get to a decent level. Get to a decent level so you can get the the quest item, the good quest items at a decent level. I made the mistake of getting a couple of my items at a lower level. Like the Amigo sniper is really nice. I kind of wish I had a got that, got that at a um, at a higher level. I got my Amigo at level seventy-five, I think. I think it probably would have been more more useful to get it around eighty. I think the next time I do a run, I'll probably wait a little bit later before I get the get the Amigo Sniper, because that's very nice to have that Sniper that ignores the shields. I didn't slip off all the way down. That can easily happen. A couple launches here. Vlad off glory. A new instrument. Two Evident RPG, a couple of Vladoff ones. Not the top near we were looking for. So I got my sand hawk at a lower level than what I was expecting as well. I started the sand hawk mission, then I went off and did some other stuff. So I was thinking that uh, the level quest reward you get is based on the level you are when you complete the quest, but it's not actually. It's the level you are when you start the quest. So I kind of screwed that up. I got a lower level sandhawk than I wanted, but at least with the sandhawk, it's not too b big a deal because you're really relying more on the B shield for the sandhawk. So even though I screwed up the level of my sandhawk, with the B shield, doesn't matter so much. Oops, fell down there. Didn't lose too much progress though. Didn't fall down too far.
Does that say stocking launcher TDO? Getting a few TDO launchers here. Really see the difference in speed between the pistol there, the Herald, and then once you get that uh, toothpick on. Neat sparkly effect for this gun. Glitter. Glittery gun. TDO launcher. Another TDO. Zero doesn't always say something when you hit the deception. Most of the time he does, but not always. Sometimes you just get a silent deception. Sometimes Zero jumps and he has like an upward inflection on his grunt. Oops, no, I fell off that time. And sometimes Zero has like an upward inflection on his on the, the grunt he makes. Sounds like he's confused when he's jumping. Just because of that upward inflection. You'll probably hear it because I'm jumping a lot, so. He'll do this one particular grunt with the upward inflection. Sounds like he's confused when he jumps. Stocking launcher, getting a ton of TDO launchers. Ton of TDO launchers. Mm. Huh. 
So you've got those little spores floating around. Keeping with the theme of the DLC. You've got those big growths there too. You just set off my trap card. Oh. Your death approaches. Almost there. I just slipped off. That was the, probably the final, the final jump there. If you're too close to an overhang when you jump, you just bounce off and fall outwards. So you have to be careful you're not too far under an overhang when you jump. Or at least make sure you're pushing towards the, the uh, cliff face. Otherwise you will just slip off. Slip off this final bit. There we go. Couple launches here. Prasma cannon, bandit launcher, and another TDR. So I don't need either of those. Can drop some of these unwanted launches now. We don't need to keep them. Like this TDR, we can drop that. So it's a little jump there. The ledge looks like you can just walk straight over it, but you do actually have to jump on that bit. Otherwise you get stuck. be able to take that with less jumps there but I play it safe and go when I go across that bit otherwise you might otherwise you might fall through the gap nice swappers dispatch TDR and a PBFG corrosive PBFG It's probably the best one we've found so far. So that's not bad. We don't need this TDO. So we have to if we have to settle for that PBFG for now, that would 
that would be okay, but we'll try, see if we can get a top near. There's that little ledge you have to jump over. There we go, we've got a top near there. Dispatch, let's have a look. See what level this is. OP2, very nice. Rugged top near. How does that compare to our current one? 3.7 million, 5.3 million for the new one. Elemental chance is the same. Elemental damage is better. 141,000 to 180,000. So it's an, it's an improvement there. Magazine size is a little better too, so that's good. Fire rate's lower though. But that's still an improvement. It's doing substantially more damage. So there we go. We've got our top near. We got our OP2 top near, so so we have so today we got we upgraded our top near. We oh, and we also have this flame one as well. I forgot about that. So today we got OP2 flame top near and a corrosive one. And we've got an OP2B shield. And we also got some Lyudas. We've got an OP2 slag Lyuda. And a non-elemental one. And we also got a couple of OP1 ones as well. So we can probably retire this level 80. Shock Lyuda and free up a bit more inventory space. So that's good. We got to upgrade a few of our things to OP2. So that should help on our next Digistruct peak run going through to get OP3. I guess this is the big one, the B shield will be helping a lot, but also I think these Lyudas will help a lot with the surveyors too. I have been struggling with the surveyors on the uh, the OP3 Digistruct Peak run, so I'm hoping that uh, these Lyudas will help. I also picked up a, uh, a Hornet as well, this OP2 Hornet. I picked this one up um, this morning actually. So I'm hoping maybe this Hornet and the B shield and the other stuff will help me with those troublesome surveyors. So this might be a good spot to leave the stream for now. Next time, we'll be heading back to Digistruct Peak, try to get uh, OP3 done with our new, uh, new OP2 gear. So, Thank you for hanging out and uh, thank you very much Speaking Lion for the raid and everybody who stopped by to hang out for a while and uh, I'll be back next time to continue with the Digistruct Peak runs. So I'll see you then.